Hi, I'm Scott Stein, and this is the Samsung Series 9. No, it isn't. It's the Samsung Ativ Book 9. Ativ? Ativ? Book 9. Yes, this is a rebranding. It's a new laptop. It's not really a new laptop. It's a rebranded laptop that you've seen before. It is a laptop we liked a lot last year, the Samsung Series 9, people. This was a great MacBook Air competitor. It had a revision last year. It looked even sleeker, smaller than a MacBook Air. 13 inches, super sleek design, matte display for those who care about that. Well, this time, the version that's been available since April has a 1080p display, really, really sharp, and that's about it. It has Windows 8, but it has a last generation Core i series processor in here, Core i7 in this case, dual core, four gigs of RAM, your 128 gig or 256 SSD, uh, you know, standard stuff. And it ramps up to $1,500, $1,400 for the 128 gigabyte version. So it's not cheap. And you don't have a touch screen. No, there's no touch screen here at all. Does that matter? Well, the MacBook Air doesn't have a touch screen. We don't hold that against it, but that's because there's nothing that takes advantage of touch in Mac OS X. But Windows 8 obviously does, and so you're going to have to rely on the trackpad here to get a lot of stuff done. It's a pretty large and nice trackpad, but it's no substitute for the convenience with apps of reaching up here and tapping and pinching. If you go to desktop mode, not such a big deal. It has a backlit keyboard. It's got all the stuff, same stuff as last year. Really solid, thin metal design, crisp. Pretty dongle reliant though, because you got HDMI and, and VGA, and these are, are mini ports. So you got your two USB ports, and that's about it. And SD card slot tucked away, yeah, over here. But I want this with touch. And also, there's no big deal about dropping uh, the next generation Core i series processors as far as speed. But you're going to see a difference because of battery life. The, this got about five hours on our test. And we're seeing laptops now gaining eight, nine hours. The MacBook Air got 14 hours. So this is now at the bottom end of that. If you can live with five hours, you don't mind paying $1,400. This is a really sleek laptop. But Samsung has other Book 9s coming out, a Book 9 Lite, a Book 9 on the higher end. Uh, not yet clear when there's going to come out in the US, but you might want to hold on and see what comes down the pike, because there's not a lot different here in the Ativ Book 9 slash Samsung Series 9, kind of, sort of. I'm Scott Stein, and that's a look at the new-ish Book 9 from Samsung.